Hi there. Today I'm making a video about why I don't send my kids to school. I think a lot of people have some misconceptions about why certain people don't send their kids to school. And I get a lot of comments, especially when I take my kids out in public. My older daughter is obviously not in school on school days. And if we go to doctor's appointments or things like that, I always get the comments like, oh, you must have today off school. And I just want to talk about the reasons that I don't send my kids to school and why they might be a little bit different than what you're thinking. If you are interested in homeschooling or unschooling, then I'm glad you joined me. If you are already a homeschooler or unschooler, then um, hi, and uh, glad that you're watching. So let's think first uh, some of the reasons that people think that I'm not sending my kids to school that are not true. One is to do with COVID. I had decided that I wasn't going to send my kids to school since I had my first baby who is now seven years old, so this was way before COVID. So it has nothing to do with catching illnesses or anything like that. Another thing people think is that I'm worried about school violence or bullying. And while these are both great reasons um, to not send your kids to school and certainly benefits of keeping your kids home from school, they're not my main reasons why. So I wanna share with you what those main reasons are, which might be a little odd to some, but I don't really care. This is what we do in our family. Um, so here we go. So um, first of all, don't send my kids to school because of time. Life is really super short in my opinion, especially childhood, especially the time that families get to spend together. So I can't really see why I wanna send my kids away for a whole entire day of school, five days a week, not including the time it would take to get there on the bus or um, me driving them there and then having them come home and still need to spend more time on school doing homework and things like that i want to spend time with my kids i want to spend time with them growing up i want as much time as i can get now i understand there's a lot of families out there that have to work full-time jobs outside of the home and they don't get that luxury and i you know totally respect that i i worked full-time for many many years even while my daughter was little but i was lucky enough to work at home full-time even before covid so obviously i did have that privilege but if for some reason now that didn't work and I had to go back to a full-time job outside of the home, I would do everything in my power to still make sure that my kids didn't have to go to school. Because okay, I understand maybe they're not going to get all that time with me that I crave and desire and unfortunately that's the way our um, you know, modern world is set up, at least in our country where you know parents do have to work, oftentimes both parents do have to work to support the family but that doesn't mean my kids need to be stuck in school all day. I would definitely find an alternative. There's, it could be family members that will uh, take turns uh, watching the kids. There could be, um, you know, hiring some sort of person to come in the home. There's a whole lot of options. There could be switching schedules so that my husband and I work different, you know, shifts. There's all sorts of ways. And believe it or not, there's plenty of, um, single parents that still make homeschooling work. So it's not just a luxury of stay at home moms. There are, there are ways to make it work and I would do any of those things if I had to because I believe so passionately in not forcing my kids to go to school. They deserve as much of their childhood as they can have not spent inside of an institution that I truly do not believe in. I know that um, there's so many teachers out there and I know some of my friends are teachers and probably gonna hate me for making this video. I do not discredit them in any way. It's just not something that I believe in personally. So I'm not going to make my kids go to school. Another thing people often think as to why I don't send my kids to school has to do with my own school experience. And yeah, it sucked. I um, have always been an introvert. I did not fit in. I had trouble making friends. I was bullied in middle school. It wasn't until I got to high school and went to a different high school that um, I kind of came out of my shell and started making friends. And I really did enjoy high school. But that's not why I'm not sending my kids either. Although I'm sure that 
Um, my older daughter would actually make tons of friends. She's very outgoing. I'm sure she would be super popular and nothing like her mother. It's not why I'm keeping her home from school. Another misconception is that I am forcing my kids to stay home and they would actually rather be in school. I have yet to meet a child. I would love you to show me a child that really actually prefers being in school, especially a young child. I understand that by high school, things can change. You make friends, you're interested in, you know, dating and school can be a really social place. But I'm talking right now about young children, elementary and middle school age children. Ask any of them if they would choose to not go to school ever again if they could choose that and I haven't yet to find a kid that would rather go to school. Why do you think kids are so excited in the summer to get the summer off and vacations and holidays and snow days and they fake illnesses and all these other things because kids really don't actually really want to go to school. So I understand that parents, they, you know, have been conditioned to believe that school is like a really important thing and that it's really good for your kids. And so you're going to send them whether they want to go or not because it's necessary and um, good for them. And that is fine. I just don't believe that at all. So I think school is actually unnecessary and not all that good for kids or anybody unless they choose to be there. So like for instance, I wanted to start a website. I wanted to start a YouTube channel. I wanted to start a blog, all of that. And I had no idea how. I, I was good with computers. You know, I had done a little bit of web design and my job, but like nothing like this. I had no idea. And it took me a long time to learn it, but I learned it all on my own because I wanted to learn it and I knew how to learn. So all I want my kids to learn is how to acquire knowledge. And that's not something that needs to be taught in school. So I think about like who came up with the subjects that kids need to learn? Who decided that these are the things that are important to teach kids? Who decided these are the order in which these subjects need to be taught. Who decided that kids of all the same age need to be together in once? I, I don't get that at all because kids definitely learn at different stages. So uh, that is just one reason I don't even understand or believe in the modern day school system. But there's so many, so, so many. Who decided that this is the amount of time that you should focus on this subject before moving to that subject? Who decided which subjects get taught, which days of the week or times of the year, who decided whether kids should sit in desks or circles or on the floor or wherever different teachers decide to sit their kids, who decided that school should take place during the day. I mean, it all kind of lines up with when people have to go to work and I get that, I get that. As a parent, are you gonna send your kids if you gotta go to work? So if you have no other options, like, I totally get that. I would have to do the same thing, but I'd still do it not believing in it. And um, I would still, you know, not really be all that supportive of school. And I know a lot of people probably will hate me for this. I, when I say I don't really support the school system, I, I just really don't. I wish that the government would, would somehow make it so it was an option. And I mean, in a way it is. Where I live, it is an option. You can choose to homeschool your kids if you want and you don't have to do anything. If you never send your kids to school, you never have to report into the school district. You don't have to associate yourself with school at all. It's hard sometimes being an unschooling family because so much of society just assumes that school is like this whole big, huge part of your life. And that is where I really don't get it. School isn't a part of our lives at all. Now, do my kids learn stuff? Well, I mean, not really, not the babies. They are two now, and I haven't really taught them anything other than um, just interacting with them and modeling behaviors and just normal stuff like that. But I haven't ever sat there and like said, these are the ABCs or, you know, <laughs> I just haven't. I never did that with my older daughter either. We just play, we just have fun and play, read books and, watch TV and movies and do all the normal stuff that normal families do. We go a lot of places. Um, one fun thing about homeschooling and unschooling is that you can go anywhere, like as long as you don't have to work and don't have other obligations, 
we don't have to be stuck in the house. We can go outside, we can go to the park, we can go um, to kids museums, we can go on day trips, we can do whatever we want, whenever we want, and that's really awesome. And what are the major perks? It is unfortunate that there are other kids um, so re readily available in our area that can do the same thing, because, you know, um, oftentimes we're going somewhere fun and we would love to invite our other friends, but, you know, they're in school, so they can't come and that you know that sucks and that's another reason I wish more people could get away from school as a part of life at all for children I understand later on you know um, higher level education is important I mean how are you gonna learn how to be something like a doctor or an IT professional or well actually that you can probably learn on your own but you know what I'm saying there are, there are plenty of um, things that do require school. So as you get older and decide, you know, what you want to do with your life, if it's a certain thing, if you want to be an electrician, um, yeah, you're going to have to have somebody teach you how to do that. You're not most likely not going to just get it from reading a book. You need some hands-on experience that I totally understand. But as a kid, really, is there really that much that you need to learn? Who decided that we must teach children about things like pilgrims? Um, I might sound ridiculous here, but I am a hundred percent serious. I understand. Yeah, I want my daughter who is seven now to learn how to read. So we've been working on mostly that's all that I really teach her at the moment is reading because reading is kind of like unlocking all the rest of learning. And if you can't read, it, that's going to be hard. Uh, she does a lot of computer stuff. She's really into computers, as most kids, I think, in this era are. And she plays a lot of video games because she likes them and they're interesting to her. And guess what, people? There are a million careers out there for video game playing and creating and all of that. So I'm fine with that. And also, who knows in like 18 years from now what even the professions will be? No one can say that. So you're going to school learning all these things that may or may not even be useful. In fact, I know this is a common thing people say all the time, which is, you know, all the things you learned in school that you never use. And it is really so true. I think that all that really needs to happen is we need to make sure our kids are exposed to different things so that they can then decide for themselves what's interesting. You know, if they don't ever know that a dinosaur existed, then they can't know to be interested or not interested. If they um, have not seen art, then they can't tell if that's something that interests them or doesn't interest them. If they don't have the supplies to draw books to look through and learn to read, of course, you know, yeah, that, that sucks. But any normal family, I'm sure, has access to these things. And I'm not talking about, you know, third world countries. I understand that to be able to homeschool your child in a first world country is a privilege. I do understand that. Um, but I'm just talking about my society, this society, the society where parents get up every day, get their kids ready, off to school, like it's just so ingrained that that is just what you do. Like here's your life, you're born and at age three and who knows, even younger now, off to school you go. There's preschool and then there's even earlier school. I don't know, my kids have never gone to it. And I'm kind of glad I don't know, but I hear other friends and, you know, parents talking about these things. And um, I do see like when I was little, I think at four, maybe I started preschool like for a half day. And then at five, I went to kindergarten. And I really thought that's what people were doing now too. But I guess they're, they're going even earlier. And I just don't see the point. I don't see the point of teaching a baby reading so that they can get a head start when they go to school and be ahead of their peers. I don't get the point of measuring kids against other kids. It just doesn't make sense to me. I want my kid to read because it will be easier for everyone, including her, to do the things she wants to do. And that's really the only reason. And basic math at this point, sure, she loves to cook and bake, so she needs to understand measurements. Um, you know, she needs to know basic math. Everyone needs to know these things, but these things are so easy to teach, especially if you have no timetable on that and you just teach as your kids are ready. It's the same like with kids and babies and potty training. A lot of people are beginning to realize that potty training is a million times easier if you just wait until your kids understand how to do it themselves and just sort of guide them rather than 
trying and trying and trying to teach a two-year-old or younger how to use a potty and having accidents and tantrums and all of that like who wants to deal with that so I don't want my kids to go to school like I can go on all day but it's mainly about giving them time giving them a childhood of freedom to decide what they're interested in and how they want to spend their day and I'm really not out there policing my kid about how to spend her day you know we all spend time on screens I don't see how um, an adult can really you know restrict time of a child obviously if you see they're you know not really interacting and doing other things it's your job to kind of like just expose them and say here we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that and make it fun but I'm not that kind of mom that's, you know, out there setting up crafts and activities and all that. I'm really not. We're just living our lives. We're not trying to recreate any sort of school at home or elsewhere. We're just living our lives as, as if school just didn't exist. Imagine that. Imagine if school just really didn't exist. Like, what would we do? How would we get through life? That's what we're doing. So when somebody asks me why I don't send my... So when somebody asks me why I don't send my kids to school, I think it really comes down to that because I don't want to live a life where school even exists. And for us as a family, it just really doesn't. And that's it. So like it or not, you can hate me. You can disagree with me. I'm sure many, many people do disagree with me, but this is what we do. And we're not doing it because we're, you know, like trying to be all different family. We don't eat like organic foods. And um, although it sounds really fun, we don't have an RV that we're traveling the world with. We don't do anything, all of that different or interesting or special. We just live our lives like pretty average, normal, everyday Americans that just happen to not include school as part of that day. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, again, I hope if you are a fellow unschooler, homeschooler, reach out. I'd love to talk to other families who uh, do something similar. And if you're not, and this is just something in that interests you, um, maybe I enlightened you a little bit to why we don't send our kids to school. Um, and also, I just hope that maybe some people can start to think and realize that like school if really, although we've been indoctrinated to think otherwise, really isn't necessary. And that's all. Thank you. Goodbye.